What's up everybody, Feather Wind Itachi, you know what it is, and I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in to a brand new episode with the Pokemon Vlog, aka the Poke Vlogger series, brought to you by Feather Wind Itachi. We've got two new Pokemon right next to me, well they're not new, but they're just spawned. Uh, it's a 142 Nidoran female, and I believe I need this one, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check it out really quick, uh, because I think I need to get another Nidorina. Hopefully it doesn't run away. I'm, I'm not going to use Ultra Balls or Great Balls on this one. And today's vlog is actually going to be very, very chill. Um, I've been very busy this last week, and the reason being is school starts in like three days for me. Uh, today's Friday night, and I will be releasing this tomorrow, which is uh, Saturday. And um, I've been very busy, and yes, this is the one that I needed. Um, we're going to go ahead and catch this Spearow really quick as well. Uh, so I do need to get a Neat Arena. I have a Neat Queen, but um, I really doubt I'm going to be able to get a Neat Arena that has the uh, max potential that my Neat Queen has. Uh, so for now, um, we're going to go ahead and evolve one of my Neat my female Neat just so I can say that I've got a Neat uh, Arena before. Uh, this is trash, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's go ahead and enter in. But like I said, I've been very busy because of school. And, ooh, 550. Uh, it's not as good, though. Ooh, whoa. Fi oh, yeah, this is, the, this is a 550 one. But look at this appraisal. It is so bad. It may not be good in battle. Uh, but the CP is going to be high. I caught a max out uh, Nidoran. I was super shocked. But we're going to go ahead and evolve it. See what the CP is going to be anyways. And uh, my Needle Queen is very good battle-wise. So it's got some great stats. But who knows, uh, this might change, so I'm going to reappraise this Neat Arena, and then you never know, the appraisal might change. So let's go ahead and check it out, uh, because it was maxed out on the CP, so I wasn't able to power it up anymore. Uh, but it was maxed out, and that's something we're going to do today as well in this vlog, which is why I called it a really chill vlog. Uh, we got a Neat, oh, nine, oh, god damn, I can't even power this one up. Are you joking? No, it's extra small. Okay, let's go ahead and appraise it, though. Um, overall, may not be great in battle. Okay, so it keeps it, it keeps it, everything the same. So the stats aren't bad, but they're not great. Uh, but again, like I said, this is a very long intro. I've been very busy when it comes to this past week because of school starting in a couple of days, but I will be bringing it back. Uh, but we are going to be changing a lot of things on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And what I mean is we've got FIFA 17 coming up. Uh, we might play some Rocket League or some other games as well, but I'm not too sure. But FIFA 17 comes out next month, so I have to go ahead and purchase a couple items so I can start being able to stream and start being able to record that because I cannot wait to bring that to the channel but if you guys got any games that you want me to play I do have steam so go ahead and hit me up I will be able to purchase some games do some let's plays on them uh, but for now uh, let's continue with our pokey vlog and we're gonna do a lot of uh, leveling up today or power leveling this is basically a power level vlog and we're just gonna go ahead and walk over to the other community that is next door to ours uh, which is over in that direction uh, we're going to go ahead and do that, and I haven't done that in a long time. It's probably been three weeks since the last time I've been into that community. As you guys know, in the beginning of my Pokevlog series, there's some mishaps there, but we good now. I'm able to walk through, and then we're going to go ahead and grab some Pokestops over there because I do need a couple eggs, and I would like to hatch some of my eggs today as well. I have three 5K eggs that are currently sitting at 3K, and I have a fresh 5K egg as well. Hopefully, we can get some more 10K eggs so we can get that video out to you guys soon. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the other side. Just to bring you guys back really quickly, we're gonna get this Vulpix. Definitely need it because we do need a Nine Tails. CP is really bad on this thing though, it's only 95. About to make our way out of the community just in a second because gotta go get some Poke Stops. But this Vulpix is only a. Oh my gosh, I'm just wasting Pokeballs left and right over here. Hopefully, we can get it in because I do need the candies for Nine Tails. It's one of the few, very few, well, actually, all the Pokemon that I have left are pretty much evolution Pokemon. It's like Machamp. Gengar, we finally got it. Uh, Ninetales, Raichu, so pretty much all the Pokemon that I need left, besides Lake and Tongue and like Porygon, I think are all evolution Pokemon. So we got three candies from that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. We're only at 21 candies. Oh my gosh, we got a long way to go, but hopefully we can get it soon. There is a Charmander nearby, so that is very good. So hopefully we can get one of those pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to that Pokestop over there. Hopefully I can get to those two. I'm gonna go ask the security guards, but. Let's get to it. Tauros also appeared on our nearby list. There's the pincer. All right, let's go ahead and capture it. I have how many candies? Like a million candies? On oh my gosh, that was so in the circle. I've only got. I've got like. Come on, mate. There we go. Nice throw, son. Uh, both gyms. Yep, that gate's locked as well. Both gyms are locked. It is late. It is 9:30 at night. Are you joking? Are you joking, pincer? I don't even need you. You're just making me waste pokey, making me waste pokeballs here, bro. 
I've got like 250 pincer candies. Well, I don't, oh my gosh, I have no more Pokeballs. Wow, terrific. Hopefully I can get those Poke Stops over there because this is gonna be a disaster. But yeah, thank you. I didn't even need the pincer. I just caught it just to see if the CP was decent because the one that I have is okay, not amazing. I have 234 candies. Make that 235 pincer candies now. Let's go ahead and grab this. Both gyms are instinct. I'd like to know, uh, Team Valor, what are we doing here, bro? These are both level three gyms with two Pokemon in each. I mean, they're not the best. They're not the best gyms. They're only level three, and they only both have two Pokemon in. So let's just consider them level two. Valor, where we at, son, during the day? Because I can't do anything about it right now. But hook us up over there, guys. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and head on back. Uh, we do got a Charmander. I really need to find that. The Charles, not so much. I do have one. Um, I do want to go ahead and check out how my eggs are doing from that walk. Uh, four point, oh, we're definitely going to be able to hatch those three 5k eggs, so that's very cool. We got 1.2 kilometers out of that, so we're definitely going to be able to hatch our 5k eggs. So hopefully we can get some 10k eggs, though, out of these two Pokestops, if I can get to them. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and head on back to our house, and we're going to do some power leveling, so let's get to it. All right, everybody. The security guy said no, but we're going to make that no. And turn it into a yes, son. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick sneak -a Uh We do got one car currently at the gate. So I'm going to go ahead and do a nice quick, as long as you stay there, I'm going to do a quick runner and a quick runner back out. So hopefully we can get into this. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Let's go ahead and sneak in. Oh, nice. Nice, mate. All right, we gotta get these two quick. Gotta get these two quick, son. Get these two pokey stops quick, son. I need my 10K eggs. Need my 10K eggs. Hello? Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? I'm getting, uh, going right here and then I'm heading back over to my house at Scenic Hills. Okay, just right here. Yeah. We got it. Oh, there it is too. It's the Charmander. All right, I mean, that guy, really, bro? Really, you had to catch me like that? All right, let's go ahead and get the raspberries. Definitely need a Charmander because of course we need it for the, whatchamacallit, candies of course. So we're gonna go ahead and get this Pokestop really quick. Get the other Pokestop at the church and then we're gonna go ahead and head on home. Not too, oh my gosh, come on son. Oh no, are you joking? All right, that's probably what I get for going somewhere where I can't go. And we did get an egg, so let's go ahead and head on back home and yeah, that poke, it looks close, but it's not close at all. So we just got that poke stop. We're gonna go ahead and head on back home. And then this Tauros I really don't need. My Tauros that I have right now is decent enough. And let's go ahead and cross over. Cross over, mate. I can't wait to get to the power leveling though, son. Come on, mate. We just found an Abra. And this is next level because I need an Alakazam. I do have a Kadabra and the Kadabra is pretty decent. The CP on this Abra is very poor. So we're def- Oh, first try, son. We're gonna cat- Oh, I gotta kind of stay here. Because the lighting at night isn't the best. We only have 13, now make it 14 candies. Alakazam, bro, you're so far away. But we're very close to hatching these 5k eggs. And for those of you that know, we are going for Porygon as well as Licky Tongue. And those are the only two that I currently need uh, from the 5k eggs. So hopefully we can get one of them out of the three eggs. So stay tuned. All right, that was, that, was, that was actually quicker than I thought it would be. We're very close to my house, but I mean, the way these eggs hatch, I don't know how they do it sometimes. I know they calculate it after a certain amount, but let's go ahead and get this egg, make sure we get it hatched. Again, there's three 5K eggs, so hopefully we can get this one. Meowth, really? Really? I don't need it. Going for that late night Pokey Go action here, and we just got a Meowth, son. Go ahead and transfer this one. Perfect lighting right now. Pretty decent. Got two more to go. Dosmas. Let's go ahead and see Porygon. Oh, I'll take it because I need Victory Bell. I'll take it. Hopefully the candies are decent. 13 candies, 988 Stardust. 608, I know my Weeping Bell is better. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we got one more. Licky Tongue or Porygon. Come on, son. Come on, mate. Where you at? Me? Oh, oh no. No. Who, who double Meowths right there, son? Out of the... Out of all those 5k eggs, who double me out? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? That, that's it. 
That's, that's it, isn't it? Oh my gosh. We've got two 5k eggs, but we're not hatching them today. And we got four 10k eggs. So hopefully we can get some more 10k eggs. Because that was terrible. We got another Charmander on the loose. Hopefully I can find this one and capture it. Because the one that we found way over there ran away from me. Bad CP, but I still needed the candy. So I'll take anything, even if it's CP10. So if we can find it, we're going to go ahead and power level our mon soon. But let's go ahead and see if we can find this uh, Charmander while we're at it. Because we're going to go ahead and do some more walking anyway. So... Right, for some reason, I knew exactly where this Charmander was going to spawn. It, uh, a couple days ago, I caught a Charmander in my community at the exact same location. And this spawn, I, I walked exactly to where I caught the last one a couple days ago. And I found this one right away. So I don't know if it's a spawning location at a specific time every night. If so, I'm definitely going to be checking here again tomorrow at around this time at 9.50 p.m. I do need to throw another raspberry. Please do not run away because the CP on this one is not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and check it out uh, based off of my current uh, Charmeleon. Uh, this one's just a f over 500 uh, CP Charmander. But again, we are aiming for Charizard and I believe we just caught it. Nice, 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 nice. That is pretty good. I know there's an EV pretty close by, but I doubt it's within this community. Because it just appeared and everything outside this community knew my Charmeleon's better. Uh, ooh, there's a Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn, yay! We're gonna catch a Rhyhorn. Just what we need. A CP80 useless Rhyhorn. I just want to catch it for the XP. Uh, just because. I, every Pokemon that I see, I'm just catching them all the time. Good thing it isn't wasting my time. We got that very, very quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and definitely get rid of that because it is so useless. I got a right on already. Uh, again, there is an EV nearby, but it is probably not in the community, so I'm not going to go out of my way to find it. Ooh, the Charmander is way better than this Charmeleon. And that does suck. That literally sucks. So, what we're going to do here is transfer this and go from there. Uh, we are about to do a lot of power leveling, so let me go find a cool location to be able to get some decent amount of lighting, and so I'm not talking super loud uh, near people's houses, and I don't want to do this inside the house right now because everybody inside the house is sleeping. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find some decent lighting. I don't want to do it right here because, again, uh, it is kind of late, and I don't want to be close to houses if I'm talking too loud. So. I see you guys around the corner. We're about to power level a ton of mons right now, son. With our sweet sauce going on right now. We found three Charmanders today. Now, one did get away, but there's three Charmanders in my community. So, this might be saying that my community is now a Charmander spawn location. And if so, goddamn, Charizard, here we come. But if it's just lucky and I found three spawns pretty damn close together, uh, hooray for me. Hooray for Harambe. Alright, so we just got that really quick. Uh, double extra small. Wow. Let's go ahead and transfer that guy out of here. Because we just got one that was just under 600 CP. Um, and I was just about to record all of my Super Stardust power leveling. Uh, but we got to do go ahead and wait on that one. Because I had to go ahead and get this Charmander out of the way, son. So we're going to go ahead and find the location so we can film this part. Uh, because I don't want to be close to homes while I'm doing this. And, yeah. Let's get to it. Alrighty, everybody. I found a pretty damn decently good location. Sadly, there is an echo. I'm not sure how that is going to work on the camera, but pretty bright here, which is good enough. And we're going to be starting off with our Arcanine, who is at CP of 1974. It is almost maxed out. And the reason why we're doing this is we have quite a bit of Stardust now, and I've been waiting to actually spend it. I do, however, have one issue with this. I am not going to go under 100,000 Stardust. So I'm going to be spending as much as I possibly can until I get to just 100,000 left. So right now, I am looking at spending 97,055 Stardust. But uh, who knows? We'll try to get there, see how much we can do. We're going to be starting off with our highest CP and moving down the charts. So let's go ahead and start off with our Fire Fang, Fire Blast. Uh, very good. On the attacking side, our canine. Let me go ahead and give you guys the appraisal feature on this one. Uh, overall, it simply amazes her, which is uh, basically saying it's in the top 80 to 100% on the IV ladder, uh, ladder. And its attack is its strongest feature, and it's got excellent stats. So its attack has the max IV of 15. So it's a very good uh, our canine. So let's go ahead and start off with our power up. See how much we're going to get. Oh, plus 42, and that is our... Look at that, 2016, what year is it? 2016, that is very cool. However, I'm gonna keep going until I can, until I have to stop. And what I like about that is, it's my first uh, Pokemon that is over the 2K CP mark. So, 
Congratulations to our canine for being the first one to hit it over. Another plus 42. 2058. And we can still keep going, going here, son. Can we get it over one? Oh, 2100 exactly. Oh, dude, that we can keep going. All right, I'm going to just keep going until it's maxed out. I think this is going to max it out at 2142. Yes, it did max it out at 2142. That's a very high R canine right there. So let's go ahead and step on over to our Snorlax here, who is also very good on the appraisal charts. Uh, he's uh, His uh, basically IV is in the 80 to 100% charts as well. So it is a top tier Snorlax with instead of its highest feature being attack, this one's HP, which I'm very stoked about. And it just impresses them, or the defense as well. And it's got excellent stats. So this is a very, very good Snorlax on my hands here. So let's go ahead and power this one up to max. This one's going to take a while, plus 44. So it's at 1944. This is going to be my second Pokemon over the 2K limit. And it did not get there just yet. It is at 1987. And let's go ahead and mark it over on the 2K mark at 2030. And to keep on going until our candies are out, actually. I believe the candies are going to be the feature and the limit on this one instead of being it maxed out. So it's at 2117 and I can no longer power it up because I am out of Snorlax candies. So I could literally power it up if I get more candies, but 2117 is still a decent amount. Next up, we've got at 1594. Now we're getting lower on the charts, but it is a Flareon and it is one of my favorites. Sadly, however, let's go ahead and appraise this one and I already know overall the Flareon may not be great in battle. She still likes it. Uh, pretty much its attack is its strongest feature and I'm blown away by its stats. Wow, so it does have good attack. It is a small Flareon and it is not great in battle. But I am so very happy with where my Flareon is at at the moment. And we're going to go ahead and power it up and see how high we can get this Flareon at. So it's at 1629 now. Uh, we're going to just keep on going here. And I believe we can max this one out before the candies go away. It's going to be a close call here. Uh, we do got it at 1698. Do I want to power it up? Yes, I do. <clears throat> Don't know why I clicked no there. It is now over 1700. It's at 1733. Can I continue to power it up? Yes, I can. And I believe that's going to max it out at 1767. Yes, it will. So let's go ahead and move on over to our Needle King, who's at 1461. However, we do not have that many Needle Rain candies. Uh, we are going to go ahead and appraise it because I have yet to see this one as well. Uh, it's a decent Pokemon. Defense is the strongest feature. Great in battle, get the job done. So it is a very, very low-key average Needle King. But we are going to go ahead and power it up as much as possible, just so we can get a stronger Needle King, just for the time being. And we did get it over the 1500 mark, so that is very cool. We can no longer power it up because we are out of candies. Now let's move over to our Needle Queen, who's in the same situation. We can only power it up twice. Uh, it's a strong Pokemon. I should be proud. HP is the strongest feature. Impressed with attacks. It'll get the job done. So it's a little bit better than the Needle King. Um, however, uh, CP-wise, it is not. Um, but that's not too much of a deal breaker for me. And, yep, yeah, we've got our Needle Queen over 1500 mark as well, but we can no longer level it up because of the fact that we have no more candies. However, our Clefable's in a different situation, but I have yet to appraise this one. So, overall, may not be great in battle. Defense is the strongest feature. Excellent stats, though, and it is tiny. So, it's decent in battle. It does have great stats, so let's go ahead and just keep powering up this one until we can get it as high as possible. I am not too keen on uh, battling in this game right now, in this point in time, so I just want to get the highest CP Pokemon as possible. Not too sure why that one... Oh, my Needle Queen took over. I mean, my Cafe Bo took over my Needle Queen on the spots, that's why. Um, that should max it out. I don't think... Ooh, took over my Needle King as well. Ooh, it can still power it up. I'm not too keen on uh, battling, like I said earlier. Ooh, we weren't able to get it over the 1600 mark, but it is maxed out at 1586, so it is now my fourth strongest Pokemon. So that's my new top six right there. And that's Golduck could come in for the win, if you guys know what I'm saying. So it's at 22. It is extra small, and I do know, however, the appraisal on this Golduck is not the greatest. But overall, it amazes her. Attack is the strongest feature. Just as impressed with the descent. It's got excellent stats, but it is tiny. But overall, the stat-wise and the IVs on this Golduck are pretty damn interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and power him up as much as possible. We do got quite a bit uh, Psyduck candies, so this should be pretty quickly here. I do want to say though, in the comment section, for those of you that are tuning in, 
what is your strongest mon at the moment? As you guys can see, I just got an RK9 that is over the 2100 mark on the CP style. So what is your strongest CP or your highest CP Pokemon on your squad right now? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have guys any questions, go ahead and post in the comment section down below as well. Oh no, Needle King. I mean, Needle Queen is now out of my top six. Ah, uh, that sucks. Golduck's cool though. Golduck is cool. We're going to keep powering him up. Sadly, Nito King might be out as well. He's in the sixth spot. And that's the last one we're going to be able to do. We're not going to be able to max him out. But he is over 1,600. He took over Clefable. So he's now... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How many candies? I don't think we have enough candies for Vaporeon. We got two. We can power him up twice. But let's go ahead. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to my Stardust. We're at 94,000. Good thing I checked on that. We are going to end it there. We were able to power up my RK9, Snorlax, Flareon, Golduck, Clefable, Needle King, and Needle Queen to their max potential. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. We got Vaporeon. Let's go ahead until we got 50,000 Stardust left. Let's, just, let's keep doing it because this is an episode that I really wanted to focus on Stardust leveling and I thought I would be able to get more out of that. It's, it's not too bad. The stats are great. It is tiny though. Let's go ahead and power it up twice. Let's see if I can get higher than my Needle Queen. I really doubt it, definitely, after that first power up right there. Definitely not going to get higher than the Needle Queen. It is at 1404. My Pidgeot is actually very high on the CP, so it's going to be very quick. Uh, it's Appraisal. Let's take a look. Decent Pokemon. Defense is strongest. Got excellent stats. Its IVs are terrible. God damn. Pidgeot. You're a high CP Pidgeot, and you are not doing so well on my IVs, man. What are you doing to me, Pidgeot? What are you doing to me, bro? It should be maxed out. Okay, one more. That should max it out. 1,400 CP. Ooh, one CP higher than the Vaporeon. Way to take him over. Executor, one of my very first Pokemon that I got or received that was very uh, high CP. Very proud of this Pokemon. HP is the strongest. Excellent stats. Really cool Executor right here. Let's go ahead and power him up as much as possible. We got seven power-ups into him right now with the way it's standing. Uh, however, I really doubt my Stardust are going to be hanging in here for too much longer. Oh, <sighs> come on, son. I wish it didn't cost so much uh, Stardust-wise to power-up Pokemon. But I'm very happy and excited to start getting higher CP Pokemon, especially now I'm able to spend my Stardust. Uh, we got 70k Stardust, we got 20k more to spend, so that's pretty good. Ooh! Took over, and everybody's taking over my Needle Queen. I really love Needle Queen and Needle King, so I'm sad to see them go uh, lower on my charts. Yeah, Needle Queen is currently out of the six. Ah, <sighs> Executor, welcome back, though. Welcome back to the squad, son. Oh, way to just sit there, though. It's at 1599. Couldn't get it to 16. All right, so what's up next? Hypno, a.k.a. Oh, we don't have enough candies. That sucks for Hypno. Uh, Rhydon's next, though. It's definitely going to get higher than my Hypno because we do find a lot of Rhyhorns in the area. So this should be pretty damn decent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and appraise it. I'm going to go ahead and go back to appraise my Hypno as well. Uh, Amazes, HP strongest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. IVs are a beastin' on this Rhydon here, son. Not going to be able to max it out, though. Uh, let's go ahead and really quickly appraise this Hypno. I want to see if it's any decent. Uh, it is a decent Pokemon, so it's not. It's got, it's got good stats, uh, IV wise, but it's not great. So we got about 11k to spend, status wise, on this Rhydon. We're going to use everything else on this Rhydon. So, again, what is your highest CP Pokemon? Go ahead and post in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my other videos as well. Share on social media, check out the description box, and subscribe. We're about to hit one more, and we are going to go under 50k, but that is okay. We are barely under the 50k mark. So, let's go ahead and recap. We got an Arcanine at 24, 2142. We got that Snorlax, Flareon, Golduck, Executron, Confable. That is a very, very good uh, top six. We got a Fire type, a Normal type, and a Fire type. We got a Water type, a grass type and psychic as well as another normal type with fairy as well on the side so that's very cool uh, needle king needle queen and right on hitting it up on the uh, 7th 8th and 9th slot we got Pidgeot Vaporeon and Hypno on the 10th 11th and 12th slot everything else below that stayed the same but those top 12 Pokemon have been improved so I'm very happy to finally get a Pokemon 2 in fact 
over the 2k mark so that is very very cool but for now i just want to say that's about it to wrap up this video stay tuned for some more pokemon go content and more content on the youtube channel thank you very much for tuning in for the win itachi is out